Hi y'all. It has been so long since I've recorded anything that uh, I'm going to use Hiller Stream's Consciousness of a Worm video as a stepping off point just to see what comes up here. I haven't been journaling in a long time. I feel like I've been kind of living my journals and things have changed so much it's almost like there's no continuity. I mean there is but the change has been so great. Anyway, so if we're going to say what is consciousness and what has consciousness, uh, I think we, we have to define the I. And if the I is the human, it'll have one answer. If the I is the spirit, it'll have an answer. Uh, if the I is the all, it'll have an answer. And so I think everything depends on our point of perspective. Where are we viewing it? What is our base of operations? Um, I don't generally hang around too much in 3D. Uh, we're present in all dimensions. We, as, hmm, can't be put into words, you know. We can play with words as light, as spirit, as I amness, as consciousness. What is it that's aware? You know, it, it can get as wild as you want it to get. It's your rabbit hole, you know. How deep do you want to go down? I would say, does a worm have consciousness? Yes, absolutely. Does a rock have consciousness? You bet. Uh, and you can merge your consciousness with it and you can experience it directly because you are that. You contain cosmos. Nothing exists that's outside of the self, the greater self that you are. And the funny part, maybe, is that you have to, in a certain sense, set the human mind aside. We're taught to identify with the body and with the mind. And if that's your base of operations, then you have self-chosen limitation that'll prevent you from fully merging with the rock or with the worm or with acknowledging the consciousness in a grasshopper or a tree. You know, the trees are a community. And it's funny to think that they don't have consciousness. I think they laugh at the humans, which may be among all that's in nature here, the most cut off of all. And uh, I think a case could be made for there being a bit of a plot to cut humanity off. Things like rubber between us and the earth. We all used to be connected to Mother Earth at all times. If we had shoes on, they were of leather. Now there's rubber between us and the earth. Funny thing, rubber doesn't conduct. Really interesting, that. And as a standalone, it doesn't carry the argument, but it's just one minor element in the many things uh, that have, one could say, have been used to cut us off, or one could say that we have used to cut ourselves off. Time to stop playing the victim, guys. We're doing all of this. We are source. We are that which says I am. So, yeah, a worm is conscious. Water is conscious. Um, a cell is conscious and aware. 
and there's plenty of biological science done out there that although they may not point to this it it's self apparent they will go toward what they want and away from what they don't well what is that but awareness what is awareness what is consciousness I mean we come in and out of these bodies we lay them down every night in sleep and have our existence in other realms so I guess my contribution my opinion is that everything is conscious up and down the scale and uh, we we partake in all of it there is no distance you are there wherever there is every bit as much as you're here there's no time that's an illusory thing we come here to play with in our uh, what do we call it uh, stage play fantasy land uh, we're creating this folks and up to now we've been doing it more or less haphazardly accidentally uh, but your thought creates a reality and as we become more and more aware more and more present and now more and more conscious we begin to observe the relationship between what we think and, and what we perceive and there's no limits no limits uh, now you got to be outside of the boundaries the limitations of the 3d mind for this if you're still self-identified as mind or mind body or body mind whatever you're not going very far mind will question and argue every step of the way and and that is evidence of duality of being very 3d and you just have to know that you're more than that and that you transcend it as above so below mm -hmm. as below so above both sides of the same coin there and so we we have to self transcend first i guess just step out of the matrix that we've kind of been it seems like we've been smashed into it and, and limited by it but that's just one perspective how flexible can your perspectives be huh you know can't you pick another one if you're having a disagreement with someone can't you take their perspective for a moment and really feel it and be it and and then understand it better I mean most often when people are arguing they pretty much agree but it's it's the minds that like to go head to head toe to toe nose to nose and at a certain point I guess we just get tired of that it's, it's not so much fun anymore you know we need a bigger arena in which to play and so I'd say transcend be higher self asking the questions and get different even be lateral self even be worm even be mountain or rock and they're always one even though we take a rock from the mountain the crystal the gold it's always of the earth even though we have what seems to be a piece or a portion that's outside of it it's all a hologram it's a, it's all a projection and thought is the creator so for what it's worth have a good day